I can understand why some people tell me that they skip the first section. I don't think I've ever been so excited to see trees. I guess we turn around now. This is home for the night. Hello beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how-tos, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. And we are in Jarbage, Nevada. I'll get to the other part of the we here in a second, but the important thing is that we're in Jarbage, Nevada. It is the beginning of the Idaho BDR. If you do not know what the BDR is or what it stands for, it stands for Backcountry Discovery Route. And there is a nonprofit organization called the BDR Association that creates these mostly off-road routes for adventure bikes that go through individual states in the United States. There is a multi-state one um, on the East Coast now, two multi-state ones on the East Coast now, but it started as an idea of making a mostly off-road route to get through a whole state. Now we are doing this a little bit early in the season. We're here in June and most people call you crazy if you try to do the Idaho BDR anytime before July. I have checked you know, everybody else's reports who have already done little bits and sections of the rest of the Idaho BDR. So we know that we will probably hit snow in a few places, but the goal is to do as much as we can do in a week and go from there. We'll probably be creating a little bit of our own adventure in some spots because I'm sure that we'll have to detour around some places because we are super early in the season. I have ridden sections of the Idaho BDR before. I've done the Magruder, I've done the low motorway. <laughs> most of the Idaho BDR is pretty high elevation. So most of the snow melt doesn't actually leave the road so that it's passable until like mid July. The main point is that we're gonna have fun. We're gonna do as much as we can and have a good time doing it. The we, right, I'm going to address the we. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> this is Tara. Hello. She is going to be my partner for the Idaho BDR. We were supposed to have a couple other people who were going to join us, but they unfortunately had to back out last minute. But this worked out for the best. We're having a great time. Wonderful time. It took us about two days to get here from Portland. I think we rode some 700 miles or so to get here. I didn't document like any of that because it was a bit of a whirlwind and we just wanted to get here. Hello, my name is Tara Ambrose and this is Eleanor. This is a Suzuki DR650. We've been on some, a lot of adventures together, but have not done any sections of the Idaho BDR. So I am thrilled to be here with Amanda and to be writing this with her. Super excited. We've been planning this for, for many, many months. So even though there might be some snowpack up in the higher country, I, I think we're still gonna have a blast no matter what. Just get off the beaten road and doing the thing. Doing the thing. Doing the thing. I actually didn't do a whole lot to Brigarios before this trip in between the last trip doing the tour of Oregon and this trip there was only about two weeks I did put a new rear tire on the back I have a Shinko 805 on the back which took a little bit to get used to because it's a little bit narrower than the, the stock tires that are supposed to go on the Honda but um, after a few hundred miles I'm pretty used to it at this point got pretty accustomed to it and I'm excited to have a little bit extra knob on the back end really I will be very impressed with us if we can get to McCall by the end of the week <laughs> That's the end goal, really. <laughs> anyway, it's well after noon at this point, and we got some miles ahead of us before we get to the next area. We're going to be able to camp, and hopefully we can get to Glens Ferry today. That is the ultimate goal for today. We're keeping it manageable. We had to stay in Twin Falls last night, and so we drove all the way from Twin Falls to Jarbage this morning, had some lunch here at the Outdoor Inn Cafe, which was lovely, packed, definitely worth supporting when you're in town. Um, it's really awesome to get to support small businesses along the BDR route and that's part of what keeps the BDRs open because small businesses and small little towns like this recognize like the support that the BDRs bring to small little rural areas like this and we bring business. So it's important when you can to stop and support all of these small little towns that the BDR goes through. Yeah! <laughs> let's, let's hit the road, shall we? 
Goodbye, Jarbage. made it to home for the night. We have uh, parked right next to a truck and camper with the jelly bean logos all over them. And Tara immediately walked up to the lady and was like, do you have jelly beans? It was hilarious. And she's like, well, we, we have a race car and they're sponsored by Jelly Belly, which is just so cool. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Well, they keep going. Do you see this? This is... This is Tara's haul. I can't believe you just went up and got it from them. Unexpected. <laughs> Tara's having some fancy food. I'm having real fancy food. I am a lot t more tired than I thought that I would be. And we didn't really, I don't feel like we went that far. I guess we did. We did a lot of highway miles this morning before we even got to the dirt. I think I'm just gonna have oatmeal and go to bed and enjoy my bed. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning, beautiful people. It is day two of the Idaho BDR. We camped here at a state park in Glens Ferry. It's actually a great little state park. There's lots of trees, so much shade, so we didn't microwave in our tents this morning, which, you know, is my favorite thing. The bathrooms are nice and clean. The showers weren't open when we were here, but hopefully those reopen soon. We made ourselves some breakfast and we're packing up now. And we're gonna head to Pine. We are partway through the first section of the Idaho BDR. We didn't quite make it through the whole of the first section yesterday. Um, since we started in Twin Falls, we did a lot of miles before we even got to the starting point. And we didn't leave Jarbage until like three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Hence our um, seemingly slow progress. I can understand why some people tell me that they skip the first section of the route, or at least they start in Glens Ferry instead of in Jarbage, because like that 
like little canyon coming out of Jarbridge was super cool and really beautiful and I'm really glad that we did that and took the time to go to Jarbridge because we got to sit and talk to this little lady in town and she told us about the history and the shovel brigade and a bunch of information that like we did not know going into it so that was really cool and I'm glad that we took the time to go see that and the little canyon coming out of Jarbridge is just beautiful the rock formations were so cool but once you get out of that and you're back up onto the flatland is just flat sagebrush for a long ways, all the way to Glens Ferry. There was no shade, so uh, make sure that you bring a lot of water. I went through a whole two and a half liters uh, in three hours. <laughs> and then some, because I also drank all of the uh, electrolytes out of my water bottle. The sun was relentless, and we are only in June, so I can't imagine how hot that area could be in July and August. But I'm glad we did it and we lucked out and we found a spot here. I'm really, really excited to be in the trees again. So excited. <laughs> Let's hit the road, shall we? I can feel I don't think I've ever been so excited to see trees. Oh, you know what? I want to hug a tree. We have made it to Anderson Ranch Reservoir and the dam, which is over there behind me. Stopped here and took a little break, checked the map, ate our snack, hydrated, and we're gonna get back on the road here in a minute. But the road coming down into the reservoir was super cool. I really liked that. It's a good day so far. I don't think that I've ever been so excited to see trees in my life. Also, the Idaho flies have made their return. Ugh. We've made it to Pine, Idaho, the official end of section one of the Idaho BDR. We did pass two other people on BMW, so we're not the only ones out here. Whew, and it is a warm, you guys. <laughs> it is pretty darn warm. 
stopped and got some ice cream and filled up on gas. And we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> Well, I guess we turn around now. Well, it was pretty. Uh, I guess we know that Onyx was right. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, we tried to go to Trinity Lakes. The road is still closed, unfortunately, but we did get this beautiful view, so I think it might have been worth it. I'm a little bit bummed that we weren't able to go camp at Trinity Lakes. It looks beautiful, but unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you want to think about it, um, my Onyx off-road app was correct. The road is closed. We were just hoping beyond hope that maybe it had opened fairly recently. Um, the folks that we talked to in Featherville uh, didn't know if it would be open or not. So <laughs> uh, we gave it a shot. That's all you can do. All right, back on route. Views to either side. Incredible. Well, we had 101 miles a day, seven and a half hours on the road. Pretty proud of us. Yeah. This is home for the night. <laughs> Shout out to Two Wheels Two Vegan for my dinner tonight. It was awesome. And we are just enjoying the sunset over here. I haven't asked you if you wanted to be on camera yet. You okay? Okay. This is, De De it's Devin, right? I was right, okay. <laughs> this is Devin, we just ran across him. He's also doing the Idaho BDR, except in the opposite direction of us. But we've just worked out that we got to camp together tonight, which is awesome. And he got to warn us about the water crossings ahead. And now I'm all kinds of freaked out. We might, we might figure out some detours around those now, now that I know what they're going to be like. <laughs> How did you feel about today? Felt good. Yeah. Felt good. I'm ready to sleep tonight. Oh, I'm so ready to sleep. I'm so much more tired than I thought that I would be. Mm -hmm. for, for real. I am really glad that we did this section though. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it makes me just a little bit less bitter about the fact that Magruder and Lola Motorway haven't opened yet for the season. So, because it's just been gorgeous here. And like the view and like the way that this road follows the ridge line is super similar kind of to sections of Lolo and Magruder. So I 
I feel like my soul has been fed and I'm not, not as angry about missing Magruder and the Little Motorway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode. If you enjoyed this and would like to see the next episode, make sure that you like and subscribe. And huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. If you would like to support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to videos like these ad free before the rest of the world. If you cannot support me monetarily right now, that is absolutely okay. I totally understand. I appreciate you guys just for being here every single week and watching these videos. In the meantime, guys, question for the end screen crew. Have you ever asked for snacks from a stranger before? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it just Tara? <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> You're fine, it's pointed at me. <laughs> how, do you, do you, how do you pronounce this town? Jarbage. Jarbage. Jarbage, I was right! You were right. No, no Happy dance. Yes. yes. I also got a little bit of new gear. I have like a new gripper mount for my action camera so it can come on and off the helmet. And I sold the GoPro, you guys. I am now an all DJI Osmo action camera lady. It's easier. I only have to carry one kind of battery. Um, and it, the little like mic adapter is so much smaller and nicer than the mic adapter for the GoPro. So who knows, you might be hearing helmet audio for like one of the first times ever not the first time ever but maybe a little bit more helmet audio than i normally include who knows i'm over here trying to be a reasonable person putting my tent up before the sun goes down and tara's over here stripping in front of everybody <laughs> that was hot, <laughs> it was hot. <sighs> i'm keeping that in <laughs> whoever says that tripods don't have a dual purpose. I know that you can't actually see them because it's so dark, but I've got a big tripod over here and a little tripod over here and I've hung the little lights from them so we have like makeshift table lighting. It's pretty cool. <laughs>